Hey guys, so today I'm here with a tutorial showing you how to back up your SHSH blobs using Tiny Umbrella. Uh, so Tiny Umbrella is pretty much the best way to go ahead and save your SHSH blobs on your iPod Touch, your iPhone, as well as on your iPad. Uh, now it has recently been updated with a new UI as well as a few new features, so I think it's about time to go ahead and give you guys a tutorial on how to use it. Uh, so, before we begin anything, you will need to go ahead and download the program. I, of course, will have the link in the description. Uh, it is available for Windows, Mac, and Linux, so no matter what operating system you have, you will be covered. So go ahead and download it, and I'll show you how to use it. Okay, so once you have downloaded Tiny Umbrella, it's really pretty simple. So, once you have it downloaded, go ahead and just plug in your iPod Touch, your iPhone, or your iPad to your computer. As soon as you do this, you should see up here on the top left, under the connected devices, your device pop up. So all you need to do is go ahead and click on it, and then you will see a lot of different information about your device. None of this really matters. All you need to do is look for the Save SHSH button on the bottom right. So as soon as you see this, go ahead and click on it. Now it will take a couple of minutes usually. We'll go ahead and find the SHSH blobs for your device. Uh, so it's pretty much as simple as that. Now the thing is though is that you will not be able to always get every SHSH blob that you might want. So take for example if you're on an older firmware, the only way to get your SHSH blob is if it is saved through Cydia. So if you never jailbroke on that particular firmware, you're not going to be able to get it. However, it doesn't hurt to go ahead and try it. You might have, you know, you might already have jailbroken or for whatever reason you might already have your SHSH blob saved. So it works like that. Otherwise, go ahead and update to the latest firmware to get your blob that way. Now, there's only one other thing I do want to mention, and it is how to use these SHSH blobs. Uh, so again, it's very simple. All you need to do is go ahead and come down here to the Start TSS Server button and go ahead and click on it. So see, as you see here, as soon as you open it up, it will say, you know, it will turn to Stop TSS Server. So as soon as you've done this, you know that you're all set up. And now, to go ahead and, you know, maybe you're downgrading to, you know, an earlier firmware, whatever it is, all you need to do is go ahead and go to iTunes, pick out your device, and then hold shift and click restore. Uh, now by doing this, you can go ahead and select whatever firmware that you do have your SHSH blob saved for, and you're all set. iTunes should have no problems going ahead and downgrading your device. So there you go, guys. That's it. That's my tutorial on how to use Tiny Umbrella to both save your SHSH blobs so that you can always downgrade, as well as to go ahead and use those SHSH blobs to go ahead and downgrade your device. So guys, if you have any questions, any problems, feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to help you out. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching.